News Channel 8's Lenny Supal is live tonight. And Lenny, is Change Healthcare any closer to resolving this issue? Well, this week we saw a big step forward. Change Healthcare releasing software that will help medical providers and pharmacies process claims. But tonight we sat down with one pharmacy owner who doesn't believe that goes far enough. He says it will be weeks before they're back on track and he's worried about the providers that may have to close their doors because of it. The fallout from a massive breach crippling the nation's largest health care payment system. Patients are affected heavily and hospitals are affected heavily, including TGH. Uh, I know people in the IT department and TGH and they're just stating how big of a nightmare it is. George Hanna is the CEO and president of First Choice Pharmacy. He says the setbacks over the last four weeks is taking a toll on his bottom line. I would say drop in 50 to 60% in revenue just the past month alone. And that's because we're not able to transmit claims and get paid for it. Several pharmacies nationwide unable to process discount cards. The issue causing many patients to face the sky-high prices of medicine. Some going without their prescriptions altogether. Hannah doing what he can to help. Because I want to make sure that patients continue their medications. We're basically in good faith just giving them the medications until we're able to transmit those claims. Because these patients reside in the facility that we've been servicing for years. And in good faith, Anna, I want to make sure that the patient gets their medications. And I guess we'll take care of the rest when it comes. And this week, more than 100 members of Congress demanding answers, signing a letter that was directed to the Department of Health and Human Services. They want to make sure that providers can bear the brunt of the financial strain, especially with recent cuts to Medicare reimbursement. And they're also worried about patients and their private information that may have been compromised in the breach. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.